Okay, so now I just wanted to show you the mask, and as I said, this will be really quick. It's just that a lot of photographers don't tell you that uh, they do uh, vignetting, that we call, uh, which means that it, they kind of direct your um, eyes to where you they want you to go and look at, meaning that they kind of darken the sides in order to make sure that you're looking at the main subject, which is like whatever it's going to be placed. So in this case, I'm just going to go in, I'm going to create a new layer, and I'm going to use the D onto my keyboard to make sure that this is default. And after that, you use a gradient tool. So if you click onto the paint bucket, hold on to the left click, wait until this pops up, the gradient tool, you have this one. And then you have what is called like this is linear and this is radial. So if you click onto this and you click onto that little settings, you have what is called black to uh, transparent and you click onto this. Now, if you go in here and you press OK and you start to just click and drag, it's going to do the opposite. So you see that this is black in the middle and this is uh, clear at, at the end. I don't want to have that effect. I want the corners to be actually dark. So I'm going to control Z. And actually, I'm going to use uh, this part over here. In case I'm going to go back to this part. And here's a quick way. You can actually reverse it many ways. But maybe like this would be easier. If you click on this, bring it over here. Take this guy. Maybe move it on the other side. And there you go. You will have your effect that's in reverse. So if you I press OK. And I go in here and I start to drag now i get the effect that i kind of wanted okay obviously it's not really nice but it's just that at least and that's what i want i want the clear in the, the middle and then dark in the uh, outside so i'm just going to press ctrl z since that i got this i kind of almost kind of look at that this was pretty good so if i go in here and do it like that yeah this is like really dark don't worry about it because what are you going to have to do is just reduce the opacity so this usually uh the photographers usually use this effect uh, and then to Lightroom there is like a, a button that says like vignetting uh, when you do it the close to the sharp sharpening and all this uh, I'll show that to you in the classroom so it's really seldom or like really not big big effect but it's just a little bit and it depends on to what you want to do don't overdo it because if it, if an example would be like if I bump that up like this it is too obvious okay it's something that happened something that was too much so usually like you can look into this i think it's in the 20 percent 15 20 percent you can just play back and forth and if you don't like it too much you can always go back use a mask and reduce the amount that you want as far as in the middle but in this case it's just that if i go back and forth i kind of like that this is the op the brightest part of the actual photo. If you want to, you can actually say, okay, I want this to be even further than that. Now, on that note, let's use an oscillant. Yeah, I keep on adding stuff. So I'm going to use the linear one just to show you <laughs> maybe another one that's going to look into that. So I'm going to use a different one. It's going to be like, okay, just for the bottom, it's be linear. So if I go in here and just drag it up here like this, okay, oops, it's still radial. I said linear, press on the shift, hold on the shift to make it straight. So you get to have that effect. I think I want it even further than that. Go like that. And then you can actually just go in here and play with the mode. I just did the overlay. Okay. You can use soft light if you want to. And what happens is just that these settings just plays with kind of the light source. And you can you can do this for the skies. It kind of changes the color a little bit. And you can reduce the amount of that. So this doesn't look like color painted blue okay but it's just that that little effect sometimes and I use that effect also into the sky like I just use a gradient and just put it into that sky so that's about it for now and we're going to move on the next part will be uh, mainly to go into portrait editing so most of you probably are waiting for those portrait